Nope. I haven't turned into one of those wankers that I keep on about. But this is my gear for today. And the reason why is because we went over last night um, for some ribs and chicken. And now it was freezing. Sammy actually named it the Arctic. That's a good name for it, actually, the Arctic rib. We had ribs and chicken. and It was freezing in there. And that place that we ate in is literally right next to the poker room. So the poker room is going to be freezing. <sighs> So I'm dressing up to the nines today to make sure I don't shiver like I did yesterday. Um, first of all, I want to say thanks to everybody for giving me all the lovely birthday wishes, which has really filled me with positivity. And it's made me think, hey, it doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter. You're, here I am. I'm fit and healthy. Look, fit and healthy in one of the most fantastic cities in the whole world. So it doesn't matter. Nothing really matters. Oh, I wish I'd thought of that earlier. I'd have learned the tune. To me, boom, 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 something like that. Nothing really matters. It doesn't matter. We're here in Vegas, healthy. So who cares what happens? So just relax and stop worrying about it. It's I think maybe because people are invested in me that it, it bugs me a little bit more. If it's my money, fuck it. Well, actually, no, that bugs me as well, but... That's only three tournaments gone and we've got four to go. So all the shit that's happening in those three is going to reverse itself now into the next four. So there we go. Today, what is it today? It's the $1,100 main event at Binion's. And the good news is it's just over the road. So here we are at sort of 25 to 11, 20 to 11. And I'm not panicking because I've literally just got to walk over the road. I'll do a little time lapse video for that in a minute. Um... And uh, uh, that's all I'm going to say, because the feedback I'm getting from these videos is that they're too long. Although the people that have said that are actually out here, so they've got better things to do than sit around watching videos, I suppose. Um, but I'm still going to try and cut them back a bit. And the other thing I'm getting is when I'm in the middle of a casino, there's obviously ching, 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 and fucking loud music and everything going on, and no one can hear what the fuck I'm saying. So I either come right up close and shout or I have to find myself a nice quiet area to do the videos in, um, in each break. Today I was actually going to go out on Fremont Street so that each time I do a video there'd be some freak show going on in the background. But as a lot of you will know, it's very loud down Fremont Street. There's just bands playing all day long. Um, and even when there's not, there's loud music coming out. So there's little chance there's going to be any report from Fremont Street because you won't be able to hear me. So that's enough for today. Um, I'm going to keep it short and I'm going to try and keep it loud and I'll see you uh, in the first break. Bye. for peace and quiet. Well, okay, it only took us 30 seconds to get here, but when was it about finding that quiet space to do the videos? Apparently the fire's gone off or something. Can you hear me? There's been a fire alarm recorded in the building. I think it's something to do with the lift down there. There seem to be people working on the lift. I don't even know if you can hear this, so I'm giving up. Bye. short and sweet two hours in there um, hour-long uh, levels which is pretty good but it's deceptive because the first level is actually 100 200 with a 200 ante so we're not talking like 10 20 lines 100 200 with 200 ante. so we're two hours in and we're just about on starting stack which I'm more than happy with actually and we're actually getting hands even though we had jacks and queens and they both lost um, we're on starting stack and I actually think we're playing quite well. Very focused, very fo I hope you can hear me, by the way. Very focused, and I think I've got a good read on just about everybody at the table. Um, so really, really happy with the way things are going. Hopefully I'll be just as happy when we get round to the next break in two hours time. See ya. Second break and we're on 88,000. And when we go back, I think the blinds are 
400, 800, 800 aunties, maybe, I'm guessing that. The only hand really worth talking about was when I raised out of the gun, uh, king and queen of clubs. And I get five callers. And the flock comes, jack of spades, nine of spades, something else insignificant. And uh, big blind checks, I check. Everyone checks around to the button who puts in a bet which I decide is a steal. And there's no way he's got a pair of jacks there because I think he would have raised pre flop. And he gets a caller from the big blind, so it comes back to me and I decide to whack it up um, with King Queen on a jack nine ship board. Uh, the initial better on the flop folds and big blind decides to call, so immediately I put him on a flush draw. That's all he can have. And he checks the turn of an eight, and I'm hoping that he actually didn't call with ten queen. I don't think he would have called the relays with ten queen. I think it had to be a flush draw. Um, so I put that on a massive bet, which is just about half of my stack. So it's all going in. Uh, unless he does it now, then I have to fold the whistle. When he thinks about it and thinks about it, and he still makes the call with no odds whatsoever to his flush draw. Um, and the board came an eight on the river, which paired another eight. Um, so it looked all over like I've got a full house, so I immediately just shoved all in. And within half a second, he folded. So that got some chips going. Um, and we've just done the placing, so we made some good reads. Uh, folded jacks again, um, and we're doing okay. I'm feeling good. So I'm going to go for a wee. All right, bye. So we've reached the dinner break, and we are on 105 sound chips. Just picking up pots here and there, but the really spooky one I want to talk about is I raised up the pair of eights, and we've got two new players who've just joined the table. One is a young lad, and one is. Um, an older boy, and I raised up my pair of eights. A young lad called, and as soon as he called, <coughs> I had this vision in my mind that he was going to hit quads. Don't ask me why. Just a really strange feeling um, with a pair smaller than mine. I just knew it. And then the other, the older guy called as well. And the board came down 776, and I'm trying to put these superstitions out of my mind. So I carried on betting. And he called, and so did the old guy, and I thought, I think it's happening. I actually don't want to hit an eight next card, because I think he's going to get quads. Well, the next card was a two, and I just got out of the way. I checked, um, there was a bet, and a call, and I'm out there. Obviously, I think I would anyway, if I didn't have this superstition. But then the river came down another six, so the board is effectively seven, seven, six, six. And they both get it all in. The old boy's got a seven in his hand, and the young lad has got a pair of sixes. So he hit quad sixes, and I just couldn't believe it. I could not fucking believe it. Well, I could, because I felt it. I just thought he was going to get quads with a, with a pair smaller than mine. Ridiculous, I know, but I just felt it. Anyway, we're on um, whatever I just said, 105,000. When we come back after the lunch break, which is an hour, it's, uh, I won't keep here because I'm sure you're hungry. It's 500,000 over 1,080. Bye. I don't actually know what break we're on now, but the next break, um, I don't know what we had before, but we've got 110,000. Um, and still waiting for our card rush. But then again, there's one guy at the table who's cracked aces three times and he's cracked kings with um, some of He's the one who actually got caught earlier as well. Thank you. He's got an enormous stack, so he's clearly not folding anything, so we need to make sure we've got it um, before we get them in. So, um, hopefully the next couple of hours are going to bring us some luck, and we can report a little bit more than 110. See you in a bit. And here we are again. I honestly can't believe this is happening to me. We're getting towards the end of the day. And we play solid. Very good stack. I think it was about 125,000. Um, monster stack raises me. Um, actually, I think there was a couple of rounds that happened before that as well. Oh yeah, I lost King King to Queen Nine. I may as well talk you through that one. Raised up with a pair of kings, it came Queen Eight Four. 
So I bet out he calls, you know, two diamonds there and I've got a diamond. Then it comes to two of diamonds. I've got a king of diamonds, so I'm going to beat the bet out again. He calls. Um, and then a the queen comes on the river. I check the bets and I can't really do a lot but call. And he had queen nine. And then a minute ago, I called a raise from the big stack. It was raising every time. I've got king 10, the ball comes down, king 10, three. I check, he bets, and it comes down to two. I check again, and he bets massive, enough to put me all in, and I call. He's got his king, come to daddy. So we, we've doubled up, except an ace came on the river. Um, so actually it wasn't enough to put me all in, it was sort of big ways. Um, and then an ace came on the river. And then I've got, I don't know, 40,000 left or something. It's all blurred around. Under the gun raises. Uh, then there's a flat call. I look down at a pair of tens. Short stack shoves all in. I shove all in. And short stack turns over a pair of jacks. <laughs> so then we're on fumes. I'm on the button with ace two. Shove all in, big blind has to call really. Um, call the 10 3. And he hit straight. And his mates come over and started high fiving him. I don't know, maybe a 10 3 in the fucking street. So another deep run. Another horrendous piece of fucking luck. See ya.